Hello guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to part two of the SatNav dash dual dash cam setup. Um, so today I have done a few bits off camera and I'll run through with those little bits that I've done off camera with you and then I'll um, take you through the process of how I put this together and make this work as I need it to. So um, I'll just tilt the camera down now and we'll get started. So first things first, as you'll know, we took this uh, interior mirror dash cam set up apart. As you can see, there's the bit where the buttons were missing. Um, and then also the bit behind. I've used my Dremel to cut all that out. As you can kind of see on there. So that's all gone. And the reason is because I actually need to be able to put the buttons in to be able to use them. So I'll show you what I do with those in a little while. Now the electronics, the circuit board and the buttons did have a ribbon on there but it wasn't flexible because I need to set it up like that off centre and it wasn't long enough so I just cut open an iPhone lead um, and before anyone screams at me it was, a no, it was a no good iPhone lead, the end was broken but um, cut open an iPhone lead and used the four wires out of that my soldering skills are not that great, so I've used a bit of hot glue to stick that just to protect it a bit and stop the wires from touching. And um, that's the electronics there. Um, we do, however, have the back end plate, but we'll bring that back in a moment. We've got the actual sat nav unit. Now, on the sat nav unit, there was a power button just here in the top. As you'll see, I've cut some more out and I've cut a section out there so we can sit this just like so, to have the memory card, the uh, second camera port, um, just there, and the power lead port there. And what you'll notice as well, we've also cut a slot in the bottom, so I can sit them just there, so the buttons can go underneath. This camera's not focusing very well. So, to carry on from that, I've also cut a little slot in the back, and um, what that's for is where we've got the camera you'll see that the um, ribbon goes nicely through there and then I can stick the camera on the back I'm just going to use hot glue to stick that on so all these holes in the top and the one in the bottom correspond with the correct holes like taking a bit out of here as well and a bit out of there as well. Don't know how well that's showing up, but there's that, and there's that as well. So, um, yeah, it's, that's that. So, um, and as you'll see as well, it was I think it was more luck than judgment um, with the screen on this. Um, I will show you how well that fits in here, just so you know. So if we literally take the screen from the uh, dual cam set up, that slots straight in behind the clip there, behind the clip there. I've had to cut that clip off because there was a clip there and it's behind that clip. The only thing is this screen on the dual cam setup isn't touch screen. So even though it is the same size, it's not as thick. So I am going to put a couple of blobs of glue in here just to hold that a bit firmer so it doesn't cause a gap around. I don't know if you can see that. No. But it is um, it is causing a gap. Let's see if... Uh, nope. My camera's not liking me today. But anyway, so you just have to take my word for it. Um, the screen's a bit loose, so I'm going to secure that with a couple of blobs of glue as well. Um, as you'll notice, there's something missing off this circuit board. And that's that no good battery. That's all puffy and horrible and it doesn't work. So I have, however, found out that where this one had three wires on it and a connector, 
Um, it turns out I'm not entirely sure what the yellow wire is for, but I've just cut it off for now, and we've got positive and negative there, and that that will work, and that is adequate to reuse, so I haven't bothered to take that out or anything. So um, let's start putting this together then, really. So, as you can see, I've got the glue gun pretty much instantaneously on, ready to go, but I did wait to carry on this recording for this glue gun to heat up because you've got to make sure it's nice and hot before you start. Um, I've got it all prepped up, so I've got this bit ready to glue, the camera's ready to glue onto the back of here, and then we'll crack on and get this done. So if I just put a few blobs in the corner, like so, I'm going to put one underneath that clip there, um, one in that corner, underneath that clip there, tuck it down into that groove there, and tuck it down into that groove there. And that's that done. Hot glue is so stringy, but that's all right. Right, so that's that one. We'll leave that one to dry. And then while that one's drying, we'll start now with our um, next piece. Move that over there at the shot. Next piece is this one. And the camera. So we're going to, I'm just going to glue this onto the back of here. So we'll feed this wire through, ribbon through there. And anyone who's wondering, I have tested which way this needs to go. There's a little slot there, and I've worked out it's got to be relatively lined up with that screw hole there. So um, I've got to work out where we're going to put this. I'm going to put glue all the way down here, like so. Glue all the way around here, like so. And then just quickly push this down onto there. That's my dash cam set up. Let me just put some more glue under there. So it fills up that hole. I'm going to go all the way round. Move that clip out of the way. Keeping pressure on it, keeping it firm. And I'm going to fill this gap up here as well. put some in there I need another glue stick so get another glue stick pop that into there ready So, oh, shit. Right. I want to fill that up just so I can clean it all down, and I'm going to, I'm going to neaten all this up afterwards. So, neaten all that, that glue residue up afterwards. I'm not worried about what it looks like at the moment. So, just leave that for a minute to dry. So, as you guys will see, that I have now connected the ribbon for the camera into the circuit board. I am now going to tuck that all the way back there, because I did put a bit of glue on it that side as well. And 
I am, however, gonna. How am I gonna glue this? Right, so I think the best way probably will be to. Yeah, I think putting some glue on this side. Plenty on there. Allowing the ribbon cable to ease down into there. And then popping some glue on this side to hold the circuit board. And some over here as well. That now means I can go like that, like that, and I can tuck all that into location. Push that back, because I've got to be quick with this. Push that in, push that down. Hold that into place. I think that is possibly going to be done. Let me just have a look. Yep. Yep. So that's nice and firm in there with a the ribbon cable all attached. So what we'll do now is last little bit to glue in will be, I'll just tuck the speaker down into that corner over there. I'll put a little dollop of glue in that corner there. A little bit just there. And I think that should be if I just put a little bit down here as well. That will be the speaker installed. So that's pretty much that. If we just tuck that wire around the side there so we can still get the screen installed in a little while. And while we was off camera as well, getting the glue gun prepared, I did, however, connect the battery up with the uh, battery terminals and a bit of heat shrink. Um, so that's that. We've got, as you can see, we've got these ready to go here for the buttons. And um, I'm going to let that settle for to dry for a good five minutes or so, just so I know it's adequate. And I'll bring you guys back and we'll put the screen back on and everything. Right, third time lucky guys, because I've just put all this together and then realised it wasn't recording. So I've just taken it apart, just so I can show you guys how it goes together. So basically we'll just take the ribbon cable for the uh, screen now and put it into there, like so. And yeah, we're still recording, that's good. No idea what happened there, but um, we'll then tuck all this up nice and neatly, as best as we can. Because this is obviously bigger than it needs to be for this and just tuck it all in there like so prop that into place loosely so we know these wires are not getting caught at the bottom clip it all into place all the way round make sure that's nice and free and moving still which it is and that is uh, back together we'll put the screws back in now these are those uh, original sat-nav screws that I told you to keep safe with the uh, T5 screw head. So that's one. So that's because I had to pop it open because it didn't record the first time. I 
that's the number two. I'll do these last two and then I'll bring you back in a second. So now we've got all four screws in. What we'll do now is we will grab these button attachments that I've uh, cut off with the Dremel off of the actual sat nav set up. Uh, sat nav set up, the uh, dash cam set up. I'm going to put this circuit board into here and screw this down. A little bit awkward, but we'll get there. With it's two little Phillips screws that come out originally. Trust my hand to be shaking when at the moment when I need it the most. So screw number one in place to hold the circuit board in place. There's another one down the bottom here which we'll do now as well. That's that. And now what we'll do is we will pop these buttons into here. And then we will clip this little panel back onto here where it goes. Clip that into there and that into there, like so. And then we will turn the whole sat nav back over because what we'll see now is there's two screw holes there which I've conveniently left in place, which also have Phillips screws go into them. As you can just hear, I've obviously caught the button and switched it on. So it's clearly working. So, as you can see, it is working. Let's just uh, turn that back off now, though. Because we don't want it on just yet. And now we're going to just stick that with the glue gun at the bottom of there, like so. So we've got our buttons. But before we do that... I want to get the bracket that holds it in place, put on the back, so we know where to glue it from. So guys, what we're going to do now is we're just going to stick this onto here like so, so we've got our buttons at the front, just like that. And um, I think what I'm going to do first of all is pull that out to one side, push this little clip on the glue gun forward so I can get it right in there. And if I put plenty of glue down here and then plenty down this side I can then stick that on there like so So it's nice and neat like that. I'm also going to stick a nice big dollop down in this gap here. And let that come over the edge. Stick a line down here. I know it's all completely sealed around that side. I'm then going to stick a line of glue down this side. And a nice big dollop in there as well. So that's uh, buttons glued into place. I'll leave that to dry and what I'll do is I'll bring you guys back when I've got it all 
the leads ready and I'll uh, run through setting it up with you. So guys, this is the finished product. One Garmin sat nav. And it looks like that's backwards, but if it is, I apologise. Um, because I'm using my front facing camera today. Um, and then we've then got the rear of that. This clip, I am still able to remove it because I've left an opening there for that to slot into at the bottom and clip back on because I need to be able to remove it so I can get access to the memory card in the slot there. And if I get a little screwdriver just to poke into the hole there, I can remove my 32 gig memory card and also using the screwdriver just to push it carefully back into place, click it back in and it's back in there. So that will still, that is still changeable. So I haven't lost any functionality whatsoever. Um, that is the camera that was on the back of the uh, dash cam setup. The only thing I have got left to do, but I'll do it at a later date, is this camera that I said to you guys in part one that was 12 volts. I want this bracket, but it literally just screws on the back with a couple of screws in the back there, and it goes into the same fixings as what this camera that I am using on the uh, dash cam setup. Don't know if it, you, it's not showing you the screws, but there we are. If I do a side view, you can just see the screws in there, but this is a fixed bracket. So that's one thing I will do off of camera. Um, and I have, however, just taped the wires together for now, because this is, I don't know how long this lead needs to be to get from the front of my van to the back, but I'll make up the lead as I install it into the van. But for now, we'll plug that in. So we'll plug that just into the top there. Goes in lovely, not a problem. We will take my USB power supply and plug that into the top. Just like so. And then what you will see, if I can turn this round, is that is now powered up. And you can see me on the camera. And if I press that button, no, that one, that's both cameras side by side. Oops, mum's on shot. She probably won't be happy about that. <laughs> um, so that's me on this camera back here on the back of the actual um on this camera by the way that's that's me on this camera and then if i press that button again that'll bring up the other camera which is the back of the sat nav you'll see there then that's my phone my tripod and if i turn it around an upside down me so if i turn it up that way actually there's me, and you guys will be able to see that the rear camera's working as well. So if I keep pressing that button, I can have uh, various different options side by side, and as you can see, it's all working. Turn it off. So guys, if you like that little um, sat-nav dash cam build, Give us a thumbs up. If uh, you want to know anything else about what I get up to on my channel, um, car related, related to this, anything in whatsoever, um, chuck us a comment down below. And I will be back out on the uh, Blue ZX, probably doing another video on there sooner or later. Um, or I may even do a video of installing, I will do a video of installing this, but I just don't know when it'll be. Um, so, I'm going to leave that here, guys. Um, thank you very much for watching. Stay safe, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. But don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. So, bye for now. Uh.